Hello my fellow Real fans, it's the Chicago Real Fan here, and welcome back to not another episode of the Chicago Abandoned Railroad. And you may ask, why are we watching another episode of Chicago Abandoned Railroad? Well, this is the opposite of Abandoned Railroads. This is actually a proposed railroad here. That's right, I am moving more towards the proposed railroad business from the abandoned railroad business. Well, actually, I kind of kind of created the abandoned railroad business, at least here on Google Earth. I don't, as far as I know, I don't think anyone else has done it so far. But as for like the the new content, it's something I've been wanting to do even before I got into like abandoned railroads and studying about that stuff. So, but I never really had like the resources or just um, the willingness to do so. I have drawn a lot of drawings on Google Earth, and you know, most as I um will show these proposals in the future, you see that um I've got a lot of them. That's mostly because uh, you know I, I really just like drawing and mapping and all that stuff on Google Earth. That's also why I kind of got into the abandoned railroad stuff. Speaking of which, I'll still be making those uh, Chicago Abandoned Railroad videos. In fact, I'm planning on doing one, like, within the next week or two. I've been pretty busy um, ever since school started for me, and it's Labor Day weekend, which means I'm going to be out of town, so... Don't expect a video until, like, eh, maybe next weekend or so. I may get one out on Labor Day, but that's far as I know. Anyways, we're going to... Moving on to the proposal, we have a little branch off here from the Loop to Navy Pier and a little bit beyond. This is just a small idea I had and, you know, it would have been interesting to see if this actually got built. This is just so tourists can easily come to Navy Pier via the Chicago L. The L system itself is already pretty large in itself and pretty much covers a good amount of the city. There are a few portions of it that doesn't serve, but for the most part, it serves anywhere around Chicago and the suburbs. But there are a few places in Chicago that's known for that, you know, they don't serve, so this is one of them. This also serves the northern side of, of the Loop area. Without further ado, I will get into this proposal. So, heading north here on the north side elevated section, just uh, north of Merchandise Mart, right where this track curves, the tracks will continue north on Well Street for a bit, but then we'll make a sharp right onto Illinois Street, and then we'll have its first stop at LaSalle. I didn't really pick this stop for anything special or anything, just to serve the local area. Although, I don't know if it's too close for merchandise smart or so would the station come to reality mm, not probably not if I'm being if I'm being serious here now this stuff though will probably come to reality here if this line were to get built this station here is state I picked this station here mostly because it intersects with the CTA red line and uh, the State Street subway I would also like it to build um, a direct connection from state to the Grand Station just a block north. Moving on here, Columbus Fairbanks is the next stop. Now I was considering putting a stop here right between these two stations at Michigan, mostly because this here is the Magnificent Mile. This is one of the busiest shopping areas of Chicago. A lot of people go here to shop or in the downtown. But they're literally like... It literally would be like in between State and Fairbanks. So I didn't include that. However, we could easily just consolidate the State Station and the Columbus Fairbanks Station into one here. What do you guys think? Should we have the two stations here or merge them into Michigan? But going back to Columbus Fairbanks, it's also nothing too special. It does serve a few um, apartment complexes here within the area here and some small shops around the area. Continuing on here, 
Also, fun fact, this area here was originally going to be used to build the Chicago Spire, which would have been the tallest building of the world at the time, but that never came to be. I mean, if it were, if it did, if it was built though, we could have, we could easily put a station here, but it doesn't really, there's really no point. Especially that it's right close to here at Navy Pier. I was thinking of building the terminal here, right where this um, the circle is. I believe it's the fountain right here, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know. I haven't been in Navy Pier in a while. But I decided to pick here since it's just trees here and uh, I didn't really want to ruin the aesthetic of Navy Pier. Uh, this will probably be a simple terminal, probably just two tracks. I would want to put buses connecting this area here. I think they already do serve the area here or like I think it's around here. I'm not entirely sure. Now the line does continue all the way down here. However, I don't think this is will likely be built. This is just a little suggestion for me, or by me, um, that it will go here to Lake Michigan. Well, that's the stop name, at least. I couldn't really come up for anything else. But the only reason why I had this go here is because that Navy Pier is long. You can tell it's it's a pretty long walk from the, the entrance here to this side over here. So this could have been like uh, a way to alleviate the traffic coming in from Navy Pier. But if this was if line if this line were to be built, it would most likely end at Navy Pier here rather than Lake Michigan. Also, it would probably end here for safety reasons. But if this line were to get built from here, it would only be one track wide because uh, it wouldn't be there's not enough space for two tracks. And with that, we have arrived at the end of this proposal. I want to get some feedback from you guys if I should do content like this, or I should focus mostly on Chicago Bandit Railroad content. I will still be doing both content, both the Bandit Railroad content and proposal content. This one here was not, was not professional, so I will be doing more proposals that are more professional looking and all that I, I i was kind of more like testing the waters here to see if like you know if people here would like react positively or not but before you guys leave please pay the fare which is liking and subscribing to my channel till next time this is the chicago rail fan departing and signing out